What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Bunker Punks. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and play a game that hearkens to my nostalgia. It's hearkening so hard right now. The hearkening is heartening. So anyways, it reminds me of Wolfenstein, Doom, Quake. All those games from back in the day, and that's a good thing because I still play those games. I play Doom all the time. Like seriously, I am a giant Doom fan. I, I don't know if there are still people like me who play Doom wads and shit constantly, but I don't know. I do. I still enjoy the game like hell, and there's some really, really great content coming out for it. So, I figured I would show this one off because it's a neat little game that is invoking all those exact same things. In our base right now, there's not a ton of things that we can upgrade. I would suggest that maybe we keep our health a little bit higher. We could get nano implants, different than nanny implants. Nanny implants are there to take care of you. Nano implants are there to heal you. Doctoring versus cleaning up your house. However, SWAT firing range... Eh. Let's maybe, let's stick to our main weapon. And so our shotguns are dealing double damage right now. That's pretty sweet. It's got a single barrel, but it deals double damage. And I think that's totally acceptable. For the other 290 that we have here, I'm going to increase my health a little bit. Because in that last run, we got gnawed on a little bit. We came out with some tooth marks all over our body. And whereas in some situations, that might be, you know, joked about among your male companions. And this one, it's no, it's not acceptable. I, I won't want to be chewed on right now. So let's go raid the corporation one more time. I don't know if we have to wipe, like, all this stuff down here before we can go further. Oh, man, that one didn't... Maybe it unlocked this one. The Renaud Segment Institute, R&D Logistics and Medical. Sounds fantastic to me. I got to go back through, though, and I got to re-equip all of our anti-bullet damage stuff if I can. Is there anything else down here? We actually don't have that many objects that are good against bullet damage. I can bring a rocket launcher with me, then that's... Actually, bring the assault rifle. I like the assault rifle a little better. The rocket launcher's cool, but I have this tendency to blow my own face off whenever I wield it. And so I may avoid it for a little while. That's actually... That's probably one of the better pieces of equipment we've had this entire time. So I'm going to take the riot jacket as well. The riot helmet, does it do... Oh, it does. It does pistols and shotguns. Good. So our defensive stats are looking solid right now. Let's jump on in and see... Who we can murder in the middle of this corporate enclave. They've added turrets, they've added attack dogs, there are any number of new things that all want to kill us. And so, unfortunately, things might get a little bit hectic in here. Oh, good. We're doing 7 damage per pellet now, which is really, really good for us. We were doing, I think, 5 damage per pellet before. There's a rocket launcher right there. I'm going to leave it alone for a second. Leave it alone! Sorry, little tick bot. You gotta go. You gots to go. Man, we are just wasting their employees right now. They're going to have some serious staffing problems if they keep this up. They're going to have staffing problems like a wizard with an overstrong hand. I couldn't think of something that breaks wizard's stabs. I was having trouble. Cool. Wipe out a couple more. Ooh, that one dropped a med kit. I like med kits. Give me your med kit, please. Ooh, assault rifle, too. Maybe we'll use the assault rifle for a little bit. My aim is bad. But it allows me a little bit more precision than we previously had. I don't know if their bullets go through their comrades. It seems possible to me that they might. What are these? These are riot boots. Oh, even better. Hell yeah, we almost got like the full riot set. That's really, really sweet. I'm excited about this. It's a small thing to get excited about, but if you want to be happy in your life, you got to learn to be happy about the small stuff. The little things, like picking up a full riot suit. I don't think I like you very much, Dogie. I just missed out on a bunch of loot while I was in here, too. That's disappointing. It's very disappointing. I could have picked up a bunch of stuff off the ground, and it would have been swell or swollen. I've always wondered why swell is considered to be, like, a good thing. Because if I'm, like, swollen, that's usually a bad thing. This means I got popped in my eye or something. And I was like, ah! Why have you thrown your corn-based cereal into my eye? Why? Please, no. Dear God, no! Floor's cleared. Bad guys. Only the true bad guys give you the pops. Give him the pops. Let's get this. I'm gonna try and get rid of the taser bot first. This little bastard over here, I'm gonna waste him as rapidly as I can. I want that triple stack of creds right there. For sure. Money, money, money. Always got it on my mind because I'm all up inside you. And your corporation building. It didn't really rhyme. I don't think it's gonna be like a top ten hit, but I think it'll sell. I'm in your corporation, practicing infiltration. Slinging all my bullets towards your security guard stations. 
in a pixel world with limited animation. Don't test me. I've got a machine gun and a real lack of patience. See, you can keep it going. You just gotta, like... I'm going full auto on you bitches. That's right. Uh-huh. That real shit happening. I think we should probably stick to the shotgun, though. It appears to be killing stuff a lot better. It does deal, like, double damage, so... Probably a good plan. Oh, no, I missed. I missed. I came around that corner with the intent of whacking that thing in one shot while side strafing. And then I found out that I am not nearly as proficient at that activity as I thought I was. I think that's just a dead end right there. Well, that's fun. Let me use a baseball bat for a little bit. Well, our health is... A oh, shit. There was an explosive right there. There was a little IED bot. We good? Anything else in here trying to murder me? What are these? Riot gloves. I've got revolt blades. Those are probably... Let's bring those with us because they've got pistol resist. And so far I've seen a lot more pistols shooting at me than anything else. I'd also like a mini map or something maybe. Fills out while you're playing. I don't remember where we saw the exit at. Or if we've even seen the exit so far. But we probably want to track that down because we look a little bit scratched at the moment. Elevator. Where are you? Elevator! Oh, there it is. Oof. Ah! Med kit, don't leave me! Oh no! I don't have very many bullets left. We may find this to be problematic. I'm gonna take the pistol just in case. I just gotta make sure that I have some kind of projectile weapon before we go any further. We do have the bat. Alright, so that's floor number two. With the bat, though, I'm trying to play that a little bit more conservatively. I'm gonna wait until the enemy lines up and I have no choice to use the bat. I'm sure it does a ton of damage, but... Get rid of these security turrets. Yeah, there it is. It also means I can break open these crates without wasting ammo, too. Anything else in here that needs to get whacked? Got him. Hey, what's up, security guys? Wow, we are really getting wasted on here. Ah! Oh, I get to continue? I thought it had permadeath. I thought, like, once you were dead, that was it. You don't get to play no more. Let's see. The Wasteland Merchant Caravan. Visit the merchants to unlock new punks, weapons, armor, and rooms for your bunker. Got it. So we can get a gunslinger's hat that makes our pistol damage better. We can recruit an extra... Oh, there's a new punk over here. A rifle expert with a mean streak. Let's unlock her. What does this do? The rifle range. Increases your damage with rifle weapons. Yes, please. He'll stitch you up good. So we got a merchant. We got... Bunkers, I think that's probably a room. We've got a new weapon, which is the 50 cal. Wow, we got a 50 cal magnum? Dude, that's so gunslingery. All right, so I'm happy right now. But we got to start a new game. That's the unfortunate part. So actually, it might be worth it to die. Cleopatra Rex. She sounds super awesome, and I think I'm totally okay with this. I do enjoy rifles as well, so Cleopatra Rex. I think you get to select two punks. I think we have Molly Pop and Cleopatra. Yeah. Apparently, we're playing Molly Pop right now. That's okay. That's acceptable. Ooh, big technology. I like big technology. Big technology make me husky. Break open these crates, get a little bit more ammo. Looks like we got a taser bot headed straight for us. I didn't realize that there was so many upgrades. I hadn't died yet. I played for like an hour. And I hadn't died, like I'd made it pretty far, and I'd unlocked weapons and stuff like that. I'm sorry, I hadn't unlocked weapons or anything like that, and I was kind of wondering how that got done. And now I know, you actually gotta die the first time in order to get it done. I'm actually kind of glad we died early then, because I like unlocking things. 
Oh, start with work boots there. I wonder if the weapons stay unlocked for our base or if we gotta redo that every time. Because we almost had full riot gear. Go and get your riot gear. Swing that girly all around. We'll be dancing on the cinders as the town is burning down. Swing her around. Burn it all down. It's a good song right there. If you've never heard of it. Oh, she comes with ballistic armor. That's pretty sweet. I mean, if you never heard of it, you probably should have. It's a pretty good song. It's called Riot Gear. And it goes. It goes hard. I'm a bit of a ska aficionado. I don't want to say I've listened to a lot of ska, but I've kind of listened to a lot of ska. Although ska is not a sexy kind of music. It is not the music of seduction. We've got a riot jacket. I'm going to take it. There we go. He's down. They only have a couple HP anyway, so it shouldn't be too hard to liquidate these assets. This corporate machinery that's all up in our way. I do wish the rooms were assembled a little bit more sensibly as well. Like, some rooms are clearly offices with, like, desks and things like that. And then some other rooms are, like, break rooms and things of that nature. I mean, we're inside a research facility, so obviously there's a little bit of leeway there. But still, some of the machinery of science would be cool. Oh, we got a rifle over here. Yup. I want to see that 50 cal mag. That's what I really want. I'm more excited about that 50 cal mag than anything else. Uh, I'm gonna bring the rifle back with me since we have somebody who's a rifle woman. Man, those guys can soak some serious damn. Like, for real, you gotta put rounds to those guys. Oh, demolitions gloves. Those will be fun. Takes a maniac to catch one. Yup. You and your tech vest. Give my regards to the gap. Buck, 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 buck. So now we've got Cleopatra Rex. I'll probably play around with her in just a minute. Let's build some stuff, shall we? So we need the firing range so we can carry an extra weapon. I'm going to do a rifle range. A bunch of rifle ranges. And then also maybe a pistol range to play into our current strategy. And that's pretty much all of the creds that we have for right now. So let's go ahead and attack the corporation at their homes. We've got R&D, medical r and D. I'm going to go with R&D because I think we get more technology that way. We've got Cleopatra Rex, who apparently has lost all the skin off of her legs. Either that or she likes to wear her socks Chipper Jones style. I don't really know. As far as weapons are concerned, we're going to lock and load with the rifle and the pistola. Hey, there we go. Rifle e pistola. Oh, it didn't bring... Okay, so the ones that you start with are not automatically cached inside your bank. That's a little change that I like to see, too. But, you know, whatever. Little things. Little things. I like to critique while I go through and just, like, little things that I notice. Did she just make a, like, a Aqua Teen Hunger Force reference? <laughs> nice face. I think I'll take it. <laughs> oh, man. What was his name? Something Island Man. I forget. <laughs> he was basically like an onion with spider legs that murdered people. And you think he's like a super nice guy the entire episode. We've got a Kevlar vest with pistol armor. Yeah, I'll take it just for filling out our armory stocks. You know me, I like to be financially diversified with those stocks and bonds. Taserbot? If you prod me, I swear to God, Taserbot. Not right now. I mean, we do pretty good damage with all of our guns right now. I think there's a strong argument to be made about outfitting your punks to really just use like one or two kinds of weapons each run. So if they deal crazy damage with whatever it is that they have available. The shotgun was doing really good damage in the previous run. Now that we're doing extra damage, it seems to me like the assault rifle has become a better choice for corporate liquidation. Corporations always getting, always getting a bad rap. Always getting a bad consume. Profits are up. Well, maybe you should stop throwing your religious men up in the air then. We've got exits. Next floor, then. Next floor indeed, Cleopatra. Make way for Cleopatra. Make way for Cleopatra. 
We've got skate pads. I don't really care about those because there's not that many melee enemies. I think the dogs count as melee. But up until we get that, so oh man, we're being fired upon right now. And I am not feeling particularly flammable. Nope, nothing right there. You, sir, have got to go. I would also appreciate it if you would drop more lunch money. That'd be really fantastic. Exactly, see? He knows what I'm talking about. He brought 40 bucks for lunch today. He got a rich mom. I bet his mom's like a hospital administrator or something. That's the biggest paycheck I've ever seen. Hospital administrator. Like it was mind-boggling. Basically, I was in college. And I was looking for a roommate. And like, I was poor. Like, I was paying for college myself. And the guy that wanted to be my roommate, I had to have proof of his income. But he didn't have income because he was like 18. And so he had to get his mom's income to prove that he could live inside the apartment and pay the rent. And so his mom sent me because she knew I was older and I had already rented apartments and stuff like that. And like, I was experienced with the whole thing. She sent me all of his, or all of her financial information, her two pay stubs or whatever, so I can send them in. Holy shit, hospital administrators get paid a lot of money. If you can be a hospital administrator, you should totally be a hospital administrator because she clocked like 240 grand in one year. I was like, are you for real right now? <laughs> I knew they made money, but I didn't know they made that kind of money. I was like, dear lord, that's some walking around money right there. That's some walking around money. Long may she rule. At shooting people. As far as skills go, ruling at shooting people might be a decent career choice. I don't know. I should probably build something over here. So we got the infirmary. Can I put in enhancements? Nano implants I can't afford, so we'll have to get that another time. I can't put in the shotgun range right there, though, so that people can play around with that. we got a little bit of time left in this episode, so I think we probably have space to do another dungeon. I'm going to take Cleopatra, because Cleopatra's what's up. Cleopatra's my jam. Like, what kind of defense is this? Just armor bonus? Okay. We'll take that then. It might be more useful. Oh, but it doesn't have... Uh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Sorry, I got, I got way late on... I thought that these had an equal amount of pistol resist on them. So maybe I'll take that one instead. We'll lose a little generic armor, but the pistol resist will be nice. Start that run. I love how fire and forget this game is. Like, for real, that's what I like about it, is that you can play this game for, like, 35 minutes, then go do something else, then reserve your game. Like, it's not a game that needs to be played, like, eight hours straight, you know? Not now, Taserbot. Not now at all. Instead of the pistol, let's bring a rocket launcher along. I think that'd be fun. I'd also like a melee key to be added, so we can melee some of these boxes, maybe? Or maybe that's the point of the melee. Ow, I've been tased. Don't tase me, bruh. Or if you're a female robot, don't tase me, sis. I don't know what kind of robot they are. It could be any kind of robot. I would designate all my robots to have some configuration just to be funny. I could actually totally use that right there. I kind of like the music, too. The music is hectic, but it also goes... one down it's cyberpunky while at the same time it like maintains momentum and it feels like the kind of music that you would see in a game like this we got a skate hoodie right there yeah because I'm a completionist I'll bring it what you want doggy what you want doggy down he goes missed out on that med kit over there though because I was dealing with the dog Little bit unfortunate, but not entirely unaccounted for. We still got okay HP. Try and get rid of some of these security countermeasures here. Get a little bit more ammo while I'm in the neighborhood, too. Actually, it's a good thing we came in here because there was a bunch of big techs. So that'll help out pretty immensely once we start unlocking things and dying over and over and over again. Well done. Logistics. I wonder what they have on logistics, because medical... Not gonna get me like that. Logistics, probably cash, maybe? Which would absolutely be welcome. I'd love to get our little nano forge set up. We're pretty sophisticated terrorists if we've got nano forges in our basement. You almost got me. 
he tried. One time when I was a kid, you guys know like the the Fox Batman series. What is that? A leather jacket, 10 armor, and then it goes, oh, it's basically the skate hoodie, but it swaps the stats, and it looks cooler. That's the thing. Oh, we got our first helmet. Fantastic. So anyways, when I was a kid, I used to watch Fox Batman every day. It was a big deal to me. I was a creature of habit. I still am. I still do the same shit every single day. And if I don't do it at the time that it's designated to be done, I start feeling anxious and just upset. So that aside, I watched Fox Batman every day. One time it bummed me out because they played the same episode. Oh no. They played the same episode of Fox Batman like five days in a row. I don't know if somebody was just like disgruntled at their headquarters or what happened right there, but they played the same episode like five days in a row. And it was the, and that's how I almost got him episode where Killer Croc throws a rock at him. I threw a rock at him. <laughs> I threw a rock at him. All in all, it's not a terrible strategy. I mean, you can go with sophistication or you can just go with something that flat out will work. Low risk, high reward. Throw a rock at him. Screw it. Maybe that's how you kill the Batman. Yeah, I felt like he was probably going to rush me right there. Since we've already got a helmet that we're trying to cash in. Firing down a hallway here. Trying to grab some credits for myself. Yeah, we're going through enemies really, really rapidly now that we've upgraded the assault rifle. Get rid of all of these little explodey bots. Oh, we've got a murder dog. God, he's so resistant. He's so mighty. So difficult to deal with. It's a muscular dog right there. It's a dog with a firm appreciation for chest day. For core day. Oh yes. I do think my first person skills are slowly coming back. I haven't played Doom in a little while. Probably about a month or so. But I think they are coming back. A little bit of a kill right there. And we are the hell on out of here. Back to HQ. We're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Bunker Punks. Just a little fun one-off series that I figured would occupy some space on the channel for the next couple days. I will see you all later. Be sure to let me know what you think about this game. I think it's pretty swell. I think it's pretty badass. If you don't share that opinion, let me know why down below. And I will see you all in future episodes of Bunker Punks. Bye.